Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to level the bed on a PowerSpec i3 Plus. So first we're going to do is main menu, go to tools, and move. And what I'm going to do, since I know that the bed is close to level, I can hit home Z. If you don't know if it's close to level, you're going to want to twist all these screws righty tighty so it'll be going this way, right? Um, to lower the bed as much as possible so you don't dig the nozzle into the bed. Now I already know I'm safe so I'm going to hit home Z and now I can uh, disable the motors and at this point I can actually slide this gently from side to side. I'm going to take a piece of paper here and get this in and try to feel beneath the nozzle. You want a little bit of space between the nozzle and the bed and so what I'm going to do is lower the bed righty tighty. So I'm going to, okay, this one was quite loose. So now I'm going to feel it again. Normally you don't want to turn it that much. And I'm going to keep turning this righty tighty, which is going to be lowering the bed so that there's a gap between the nozzle and the bed when this is in the home position for Z. And there's that gap. So now I can get that paper underneath. Hopefully this is still in focus. Alright, now I can gently slide this over to this side and get the paper under here. And this is tight. So now I'm going to righty tighty and just slowly turn this until I can feel that the paper gets underneath the nozzle, which it is. Alright, and now I'm going to slide the bed forward gently. Got a little snagged on the tape there, and I'm going to feel the nozzle height again, probably too low. It does feel too low, so I'm going to do righty tighty on this one, and just keep turning it to the right until I can feel a small gap between the nozzle and the print bed. Should be there soon. This is the hard one to reach, because there's no uh, space for your thumb, so you're going to find yourself doing a ton of tiny twists. There we go, now I've got a gap. Now I can slide this over and I can feel, I, I just left it under and um, let me make sure this is still focused. And yeah, I can feel that this is far too tight so I'm going to keep on doing righty tighty and keep pulling around on the paper a bit until I feel a bit of a gap and now I can feel that gap. Now, now that I've moved all these other screws, the ones that I had originally thought were level will now have moved a bit right and so it's important that I go back through and do this a few times so now I'm going to go back to here move it gently and get the paper under the nozzle now it's actually too loose I can feel this is too loose so I am going to do left by a quarter turn and try reaching in here again and now I'm just going to keep turning it to the left until I can feel it a slightly snug fit so I'm just going lefty loosey until I can feel now it's getting tight right there. All right, maybe a little too tight, so I'm going to tighten it down a little bit. Slide this over to this corner, and now we're going to feel this corner. Get the paper in there. Too loose. So now I'm going to lefty loosey to raise the bed up, and there's that bit of grip on the paper that I want to feel. Now I'm going to slide the bed forward. Do the same thing again. It's a pretty repetitive process. Too loose, so I'm going to lefty loosey. And still not quite. There it is. Now I'm going to move this over. And this one's a little too tight, so I'm going to righty tighty, which is going to pull the bed down a bit. There we go. And at this point, the bed should be level. You could test all those corners again. Um, but yeah, that's basically the process. And you want to do it multiple times, test your print, see how your print goes. And that's about it. If you get something where it's very far off level, you might have to start messing with things like it's possible that this got off level itself, this uh, carriage. And so you might need to go in the back when the motors are disabled and kind of twist the uh, vertical screws here.
to get this to kind of level the way you want. And one other possible problem is the Z limit switch. I'll do a special video on that later, I guess, because that's kind of more in-depth, but you can adjust the height of the Z end stop. Um, so if you find that it stops way too early or way too late, you might need to do that, and I'll make a different video about that. So anyway, this is Keith from Kinvert going over how to level the bed on a PowerSpec i3+. Plus. This is part of our online course for CAD and 3D printing. Hope you found this useful, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.